Good morning children. Now you know what is data handling. Let us learn one more way of representing data which is pie chart. A summer camp was held and 80 children attended that camp. All the children played their favorite games. Let us see what all favorite games were there. Few children liked to play chess. Some liked to play cricket. Some liked to play table tennis while others liked to play badminton. Aman, one of the children who joined the camp made a list of favorite games of all the 80 children and this is how he represented it. So using a circle he represented the favorite games of 80 children. Let us see how he did it. So he used a circle to represent the choice of 80 children with respect to their favorite games. If we see here, the circle is divided into various part and each part represents the number of children with their choice of favorite game. For example, this is the light blue colored part and represents the choice as Cricket being the favorite game of children. This is the dark blue colored part and it represents badminton as the favorite game of the children. And this is purple colored part and it represents table tennis as the favorite game of the children. And this is the gray part which represents chess as the favorite game of the children. So, the circle was divided into various parts and not just this, Aman even wrote the fraction or the part which was equal to the number of children liking a particular game. So, in case of cricket, 1 by 2 or half of the total children like to play cricket. Coming to badminton, one eighth of the total children which is 80 like to play badminton. One fourth of the total children played table tennis and lastly coming to chess, one eighth of the total children which is 80 played their favorite game chess. So you see not just the part size even the fraction tells how many amongst the children liked each game. Now using this chart or the circle let's figure out which was the most popular game. Now if we see the size of each part it should be clear that Cricket was the most popular game amongst those 80 children. Not just the size, even if we see the fraction related to cricket which is 1 by 2, it is the largest among 1 by 8, 1 by 4, 1 by 8. So you can say cricket was the most popular game amongst those 80 children. Next, if we want to figure out how many children like to play cricket, then as we saw in the chart, half of the total like to play cricket and the total number of children were 80. So we will figure out half of 80 which means 1 by 2 multiplied by 80. Let's reduce it. 2 ones are 2, 2 forties are 80. So we get the number of children equal to 1 multiplied by 40 which is 40. 
So, 40 children like to play cricket. Now, coming to the next question. Can you tell which were the two games equally popular? If we see the chart carefully, the sizes of these two parts are same and they represent badminton and chess. So, we can say badminton and chess were equally popular games. Also, if we see the fraction related to them, 1 by 8, both are equal. So, what do we know? Badminton and chess were equally popular games. Now, can you tell how many children like to play chess? We know 1 by 8 of total like to play chess and the total was 80 children. So, 1 by 8 of 80. Now we reduce it. 8 ones are 8 and 8 tens are 80. So 10 children like to play chess. Another question. Can you figure out how many children like to play badminton? We know 1 eighth of total like to play badminton. But we also know same number of children like to play chess. And how many children like to play chess? It was 10. So we can say even badminton was liked by 10 children. Understood? Now the next question which was the indoor game which was preferred amongst the chess and table tennis? Let us see. If we see the size of different parts we will see it is table tennis because this part is larger as compared to this part which represents chess. Mathematically also we can do this. So which was the preferred indoor game when we compare chess and table tennis? If we will see table tennis was like by one-fourth of the total children and chess was liked by one-eighth of the total children. Even if we see the size of these two parts, what can we say? This is the bigger part. So we can say table tennis was the preferred indoor game, meaning it was liked by more of children. We can do this mathematically too. One fourth of the children liked table tennis and one eighth of the children liked chess. So it is one part out of four equal parts and this is one part out of eight equal parts. So naturally which is bigger? This is bigger. So we can say one by four is greater than one by Eight. Hence, table tennis was the preferred game or the preferred indoor game of the children. So, table tennis was the preferred indoor game. If we look at this chart, doesn't it look like a pie? It is round like a pie. Some people can also say this chart looks like a round chapati. That's is why it is called a pie chart. When we represent the data in form of a circle, it is called a pie chart or you may also call it a chapati chart. So, you can represent data as different fractions of a whole which is a circle here. So, pie chart is one way of representing data the other ways we'll learn in next class. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.